It's February and this is the Library Road Show. On the show today, researching African-American genealogy, space, and a few wild things. Welcome to the February edition of the Library Roadshow. I'm Mary Stein and this is a production of your East Baton Rouge Parish Library System. So much to share in February. First, to pave the way for the release of Marvel's Black Panther, we've planned the Mid-City Microcon, Welcome to Wakanda. This special event celebrates diversity in comic book characters, creators, and fans. There'll be a discussion panel, comics and arts market, workshops, film screenings, even a cosplay competition for teens and adults. Special guests include the creators of Tuskegee Airs. The Microcon takes place at the Main Library at Goodwood on Saturday, February 10th from 10 till 5, and it's all free, of course. Get the complete rundown on the library's website at ebrpl.com. Then we'll kick off our One Book, One Community selection, Hidden Figures, by Margot Lee Shetterly. We're hosting the official launch party at an after-hours event at the Main Library on Goodwood on Saturday, February 24th, beginning at 6 p.m. The night will include music from the 60s, food, games, prizes, face painting, caricatures, balloons, stargazing, even moon rocks, and a moonwalk. Our partners from Forum 35 will be there, too, to help us welcome some special guests, including Alyssa Carson, our astronaut in training, Dr. Tamara Wade, formerly of NASA, and the NASA STEM team from Mishu. Don't miss it. Check out www.readonebook.org for an up-to-date schedule of events, teacher guides, discussion questions, and other assets. And of course, Check out a copy of Hidden Figures today. Free access to books, audio, and library resources are just a few of the benefits available to you when you get a library card. Need free access to a computer? You get that. Want free access to premium digital resources like Mango Languages and Lynda.com? You get that. Need to book a meeting space? You get that. Heck, you can even check out a telescope or use a digital printer with your library card. If you live in East Baton Rouge Parish, pick up your free library card from your local branch library today. Premium access to everything the library system has to offer is waiting for you. For every kind of service or resource that the library offers in the real world, we also try to offer something in the digital library to parallel it. And since books are our brand, we've worked hard to ensure that we've got books everywhere you might need them, including in the cloud. Our biggest ebook platform is Overdrive, and it's recently delivered our readers a huge upgrade in convenience. Adam St. Pierre joins us now to explain in the digital download. Do you download ebooks and audiobooks from your library? Or have you tried, but have been disappointed by how many clicks are involved? Then you need to check out the Libby app from Overdrive, powered by your EBRPL digital collection. The Libby app takes the Overdrive app experience and streamlines it into literally four steps. Install the Libby app from your device's app store. Open the app and search for us, your library, by zip code, by location, or by name. Browse and borrow a title. This is where you'll need to sign in with that library card. Borrowed titles show up on your shelf and are automatically downloaded. Tap Start Reading or Start Listening. Or you can send it to a device like your Kindle. And it's all free with just your library card. To check out Libby, head to your device's app store or come on in and we'll get you started. Thanks, Adam. I love how easy it is to use the new Libby app. It really is a one-tap app. Makes it that much easier to get at all those thousands of ebooks waiting for me in Overdrive. Let's shift gears and check in with Kayla Perkins, reporting in from Beyond the Stacks. It's been two years coming, but we've got it. What is it that we have? Your East Baton Rouge Parish Library has so many programs, events, and resources for you to love. And that includes amazing exhibits. We're at the Main Library at Goodwood for the very special Maurice Sendak Memorial Exhibit. Let's check it out. This is a wonderful exhibit. It's been traveling the country for five years. 
to not just libraries, but to a lot of museums. And so we've been in line for it for about two and a half, three years. We've been waiting for it. Mm -hmm. uh, we finally came up and we've got it in about a week ago and we wanted to have it up by now, but with snow and ice, we couldn't put it up yet. This is the work of Maurice Sendak. Maurice Sendak is best known for his children's book, Where the Wild Things Are. For over 40 years, that book and the whimsical characters within have inspired kids of all ages. Now those inspired monsters cover the walls inside the children's department at the main library on Goodwood, and for good reason. It's a little bit of lanyard for our wonderful patrons who adore our books. So we're giving them a little bit more where they learn a little bit more about the people who do these books. The exhibit includes sketches, drawings, and memorabilia from Sendak's entire career, which included work for print, stage, and even opera. My favorite piece is a one of the blue monsters, and he's down at the beginning of mm -hmm. this, and he's got a little smirk on his face, and he's one of my favorites. And then also, I really, really enjoy the bronze that we have. We have one bronze, uh, marble and bronze, and it's of the wild thing where the wild things are. The boy in his ship going across the oceans, and there's a sea monster with him. Sendak worked with some big names during his career. Those relationships are remembered through these plaques, which are quotes from some of those most influenced by his talent. Right here we have from Dr. Seuss, Ted Geisel, and Jim Henson. Uh, Mari Sindek actually worked with him for a number of years. Wow. And then Eric Carle. You should have seen the big crate all this came in, a huge crate that nearly didn't fit into this building. <laughs> it was such a treat to check out some of Sindek's beautiful work. The exhibit will be on display through mid-February. To find out what's coming up next, pick up a copy of the monthly newsletter, The Source, or visit us online at www.evrpl.com. There really is a lot to love about Syndex's work. You'll never get a better feeling for it than right now. Stop by the Children's Department at the Main Library at Goodwood through mid-February to enjoy this one-of-a-kind literary exhibit. I have really sharp memories of my mom practicing how to perform the book for her kindergarten class back in the 60s. It never gets old for me. And we have several opportunities for you to bring your very own wild things to the library for a wild rompus or two. The Zoomobile's even getting into the act with a few wild things of their own. Read all about it in this month's edition of The Source. Stay right there. After the break, Dr. Tamara Wade, former learning expert at the NASA Stennis Space Center, joins me for a chat right here on the Library Roadshow. Hi, everyone. It's Jack Black coming to you from the set of Jumanji. Everybody run! Why am I running so slow? I like Kent even with this place. Libraries and librarians transform lives every day through digital literacy, discovery, and lifelong learning. There's no puzzle too tough or challenge too great for your librarian. Find the clues to solve your next quest at the library. There are 16 million children struggling with hunger in America. That's one in five daughters, sons, neighbors, and classmates who don't know where their next meal is coming from. Yet billions of pounds of good food go to waste every year. It's time we do something about it. Feeding America is a nationwide network of food banks that helps provide meals to millions of kids and families in need. Visit feedingamerica.org to help them feed even more. Together, we can solve hunger. Together, we're Feeding America. A single ember that escapes from a wildfire can travel more than a mile. Get Fire Adapted now. Learn simple steps at fireadapted.org. You're watching the February edition of the Library Roadshow, everything you need to know about your local library system. Dr. Tamira Wade now serves as the Assistant Chief Administrative Officer to Mayor Sharon Weston Broom, but she comes back to Baton Rouge after years working with NASA. As a NASA learning expert, she not only had oversight of STEM research projects, but also helped to redesign and implement STEM engagement on a national level. So she's a perfect choice to help shed a little light on our selection of hidden figures as the One Book, One Community title. Welcome, Dr. Wade. Thank you so much. Happy to have you here. All right, right to it. What is STEM and why is it important? So STEM is the acronym commonly used for science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. 
It's important because it leads our industry today, Mary. Um, an abundance of students are entering the STEM field. Everywhere we look, there is STEM. We can find science, technology, engineering, and math in almost every job that exists Even today. Even in the arts. Even in the arts, sometimes referred to as STEAM. Mm -hmm. We like to put that A in here <laughs> at the library. Because sometimes you lure people into it through that avenue of, of music, art, clothing design. You never know. Absolutely. Um, in fact, there are 3D printing clothes now, even as we speak. Well, the women of Hidden Figures are truly inspiring on multiple levels. What inspired you as a young girl to go into a STEMI kind of field because we didn't talk about this back in the day. So I attribute my inspiration to my older sister who was a dual physicist and mathematician. Okay. And uh, she always aspired to be in the world of science. And you know, oftentimes as we grow up, we look to those older siblings for inspiration. So my inspiration started at home, looking up to my older sister. That's great. And then you really went up into NASA, I, I'm, I'm loving that. Did you want to actually reach the stars? Because I certainly wanted to be an astronaut. So we have to always want to go beyond the stars. Okay. You know, when I think NASA, we think it's the world beyond. Okay. And that there are no limits. And so this, um, when I think about hidden figures, it is an inspiration for every girl every individual to reach beyond the stars and to remove any boundaries or restrictions that may that may exist in their minds. So give us permission to try. Absolutely. I love it. Absolutely. Well, we, we love this book for its aspirational mm -hmm. and inspirational message. Um, and of course, we're very pleased that there's a quality movie to go with it because not everyone will have the time or the energy to read the book. What do you think about the movie? Did they do a good job? I think they did an excellent job on the movie. Um, the, the movie uses characters that exude the passion okay. necessary to relate the storyline of having that courage, having that determination, the dedication and the diligence to pursue. Drive, because what, what is it uh, most, 90% uh, of, of of uh, success is persistence, persistence and showing up. <laughs> showing up, <laughs> showing up. Right. All right, represent. Okay, what are some of the takeaways that, that we can get from reading Hidden Figures? So from reading Hidden Figures, the takeaway is that you can always defy the odds, number one. Okay. Always defy the odds. Um, don't be guided by any predetermined labels okay. that may exist. The second thing I would say is that each person must have their own intrinsic motivation. Okay. And so you have to have an internal you drive. To find it here. You have to find it here, Mary, in order for it to propel them to want to go beyond the stars. Okay, and propelling beyond the stars yes. is what it's about. Okay, thanks. We are so excited to share a book like Hidden Figures with the community. We think it's really going to resonate with a lot of people and kick off some powerful conversations. And we're going to see you right back here at the main library for the launch party Absolutely. on February 24th. I can't wait. So after this break, we'll hear from an author who is more than 100 years young, plus book reviews from one of our youngest library patrons. All that and more coming up next. Do you wonder how your family landed here? Do you really know your family roots? Discover more about your family history at the East Baton Rouge Parish Library Genealogy Department. East Baton Rouge Parish Library. Become a member and discover more. Don't let E. coli mosh with your food. An estimated 3,000 Americans die from a foodborne illness each year. You can't see these microbes, but they might be there. So always separate raw meat from vegetables. Keep your family safe at foodsafety.gov. Welcome back to the February edition of the Library Roadshow. Every now and then you meet someone whose drive and enthusiasm for living just inspires you to make changes in your own life. 
to be the best that you can be. Ms. Julia Hawkins set a world record in the 100-yard dash at age 101. She's well known in the Capital Region as someone who celebrates life to the fullest, and she's put it down on paper in her new book, It's Been Wondrous, a centenarian's memoir. Miss Julia, you have lived an amazing life. What inspired you to put it all down on paper? The reason I decided to is my mother, Margaret McGuire Wells, did her life story and she inspired me so much that I felt I would like to do it too. And I also have had a lot of unusual things happen in my life. And the first one of them that my family and my aunt and uncle's family came down the Mississippi River in a yacht in 1916 all the way from Chicago to Morgan City. And then we, we moved to Ponchatoula, Louisiana, where we uh, lived from then on. And we had a summer resort which was a wonderful place to grow up. It was right on a river. What are some of the key things that you would like readers to take away from your book? One of the things that I would like to say is to stay healthy and keep creative and keep active. I think it's a good thing as you get older to have passions. And some of mine are magic moments to notice things in nature that you might not have seen, like sunsets and sunrises and beautiful music and people's kind words to you as being wonderful things that are free in the world and that we ought to all notice. Is there something you wish you had added to your book? Or is there even a second book spinning around in your head? My husband retired from LSU at about 60. And we did a lot of fishing after that and had a wonderful time and did also two trips to Europe. And we went on many trips around the country in, in, our, uh, in our city, in, in our state, and in our country. And saw lots of wonderful things and feel like we were privileged to get to do all of that. And I'm proud to say that we lived to be, that he lived to be 95 years old. What are you working on now? Because I know that you don't slow down. That's about all I have to say. Just keep active, keep alert, keep healthy. <laughs> Happy birthday, Miss Julia. We'll see you at the Blue Bonnet Regional Branch Library on February 11th to celebrate 102 years of a life well lived. And now to take it all full circle, we've checked in with one of our younger patrons to find out how she's using the library. Uh, I'm, I'm four and I, and I like this book. <laughs> it's about, he, about, he was a cat. He was falling. See the picture? He's staying on that. He's trying to dig in there. He's in there. What's you want to tell the story of it? Yes, please. Hey. That's all. Uh, again, to say all kind of words are fine. I've all kind of letters in mine. My mom takes me every day. Every way. I like it. Because every weekend, if I like books, I come here. <laughs> do you like reading? Yeah. How many books do you think you've read? Uh, I'm going to read four of them. Four. Thanks, Kaisley. Fostering that early interest in books is a foundation for a lifelong love of literacy. Stay right there. You're watching The Library Road Show. Do you wonder how your family landed here? Do you really know your family roots? Discover more about your family history at the East Baton Rouge Parish Library Genealogy Department. East Baton Rouge Parish Library. Become a member and discover more. 
Marie, you have prediabetes. Prediabetes? I don't have time to eat right or exercise. I'm a busy mom. Oh, you're a busy mom. Yeah. This is great news. Busy moms never get prediabetes. Wait, what? Let me just... Yeah, this is all the people at risk for prediabetes, and way over here, busy moms. No? Whew. Welcome to understood.org, a free online resource for parents of kids with learning and attention issues, with personalized recommendations, tools, and daily access to experts to help your child thrive. Understood.org, because understanding is everything. My name is Melissa Easton and I'm head of the Special Collections Department of the East Baton Rouge Parish Library, located on the second floor of the main library at Goodwood, where Baton Rouge history comes alive. Part of the appeal of genealogical research is that it provides access to our past by uncovering the experiences of our family members who lived through historical events and eras. As we study history, both the good and the bad, we sometimes forget that these events happen to real people living out their lives. When we access historical information and find the footprints of our ancestors in the historical record, we become connected to those people. By uncovering and learning about family members, we can follow the migration routes of our ancestors as they move westward across the North American continent. And by uncovering the paper trails they left behind, we can discover where and how they lived. This month, on Saturday, February 17th, we are proud to welcome acclaimed genealogist and researcher Zahn Nelson. Ms. Nelson is an award-winning freelance writer specializing in African-American historical investigations. In 1834, former President James Madison sold 16 slaves from his home at Montpelier to his cousin William Taylor. Taylor then moved these slaves to Point Capie Parish to work on plantations there. Zahn has dedicated her research to uncovering and documenting the lives of these human slaves. She is also working to locate their living descendants here in Louisiana. Her first talk, starting at 1030, will be about this project and about the tools and methods she used to uncover the life stories of these unfortunate 16 slaves and of their families. Her second talk, starting at 1 p.m., will be of interest to those who are tracing their ancestries through the institution of slavery. The program will focus specifically on Virginia, addressing the primary slave dealers and the processes used to buy, sell, trans and transport human beings. This is an excellent opportunity to learn about the methods and resources available in our area and beyond to follow the sometimes elusive path of slave ancestors. If you have questions about this event or any of the other events offered by our genealogy department, please visit our genealogy info guide at www.ebrpl.com or call our department at 225-231-3751. To uncover your family's past and learn more about African American genealogy, visit the Special Collections Department on the second floor of the main library at Goodwood, where Baton Rouge history comes alive. You're watching the February edition of the Library Roadshow, a production of your East Baton Rouge Parish Library System. There's another cool program scheduled for February, too. We were forced to cancel our special presentation on the Brides of La Belaine due to what we refer to now as the Blizzard of Baton Rouge. But this will now take place on Wednesday, February 21st at the Main Library. So two fascinating glimpses into the past coming up in February. So much more on local history and genealogy is available at the Main Library on Goodwood, and it's all free with your East Baton Rouge Parish Library card. Hello, novel lovers. I have a great biography for you this month. It's featuring everyone's feisty Grandma Ruby from the critically acclaimed TV sitcom Blackish. Jennifer Lewis's biography, The Mother of Hollywood, a memoir, will be one of the best works you will pick up this year. You will be captivated. She is remarkable. She is honest. She is shockingly truthful. Her story is fascinating. Baby, let me tell you, Auntie Jennifer tells it like it is straight, no chaser. Oh, no doubt you will laugh. If you know Jennifer Lewis's ability as a top-notch comedian, you know you're in for an uproarious, gut-busting, laugh-out-loud book. 
It's not all laughs, but it is chock full of them, and many of them are very big. It's also full of struggles, lessons learned, pain, and it always, always tells the truth. That's what you get in this book. She lets us in on her innermost thoughts and some of her most personal moments. She takes us for quite a ride. Yes, I will say it, fasten your seatbelt. But I won't finish that famous quote because it won't be a bumpy night you're in for. It will be the ride of a lifetime. You'll be so glad you decided to take it. Beware, people. She is not shy. Jennifer tells it all from the men in her life, the successes in her life, to the heartaches in her life, and the lessons learned from all of them. She is honest about her struggle with bipolar disorder and the havoc it wreaked in her early life and her journey to understanding it later in her life through therapy and medication. We have a lot to learn from Auntie Jen. How lucky we are that we have someone that is this willing to open their colorful life to us. If all of us and all of our teachers had been this honest and funny, we'd all be brilliant. She's had many monikers along the way. Killer, the diva, the queen of high camp cabaret, a title given to her by the New York Times, and the black mother of Hollywood. She's all of those things and a few more, most notably a star, a survivor, and by all means a real flesh and blood human with the heart the size of the city she's conquered. Do yourself a favor. After you've read it, listen to it. You do not want to miss her inflections, her laugh, and her power. Now go on and enjoy the ride. And that's how the page turns. Thanks, Tamika. Of course, I'm reading Hidden Figures. I've got the original version of the book with all the backstory, but we also have the Young Readers Edition, which tracks more like the movie, as well as the audiobook. Plenty of copies in print and in the digital library, and each copy has a discussion guide if you want to take it to the next level. We'll also host public discussion programs throughout the spring. Dr. Wade will lead one of those discussions at the main library in March, and we're setting the schedule for other daytime and evening programs. The complete list of One Book, One Community events will be updated daily at www.readonebook.org. And now for today's contest, visit the library's Facebook page at facebook.com ebrpl. I'm interested in seeing your posts and pictures about your childhood dreams and aspirations, because who doesn't want to be an astronaut when they grow up? That's facebook.com slash ebrpl. And while you're there, enjoy. We are not your grandfather's library anymore. What's coming up on the Library Roadshow in March? Hidden figures, of course. Authors, movies, discussions, science activities, even the Discovery Dome. Tune in next month and we'll blast off at the launch party celebrating the One Book One community selection, Hidden Figures. And coming up next month, I'll share another digital resource with you. And I'll be getting things lined up for visits by Dr. Renee Horton of NASA and author Kate Moore for the Radium Girls. Thanks so much for joining us on the Library Roadshow. And remember, your East Baton Rouge Parish Library is open seven days a week at each and every one of 14 branches, plus 24-7 on the web. Check us out at ebrpl.com. And that's how we roll.